New at six, regardless of sexual orientation, age or race, city council members say family violence is a growing problem in our community that must be tackled. Devin Clark explains how city leaders are strategizing to use city budget funds to combat the issue they say has reached unprecedented severity. It's alarming. District 8 City Councilman Manny Pelaya says that one in three women in San Antonio have a domestic violence story to tell. But the problem of intimate partner violence is also growing among the LGBTQ community. Members of that community are experiencing domestic violence, intimate partner violence, um, and in increased uh, rates than, you know, violence in the heterosexual community. District 5 Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez teamed up with Pelayas, hoping to use city funds to create a comprehensive approach to quell intimate partner violence, focusing on response, education, and prevention. My initial thought is that we would just increase funding to programs that already exist. Which means more support for entities like Family Violence Prevention Services, the Peace Initiative, Family Services Association, and the SAPD, to name a few. I have a Promato program uh, that I piloted in District 5 uh, to, re to directly uh, work with women who um, had incidents of child abuse. Both Gonzalez and Palaya say that this is an urgent and crucial issue that stretches across district council lines and exceeds partisanship. I think that there is uh, a realization on the part of uh, my colleagues on council that this very much threatens uh, our community's ability to thrive. At the end of June, there will be a budget prioritization meeting where Palayas and Gonzalez will address the other members of city council to try to figure out exactly what can be done to bring this plan to fruition. We can expect a vote sometime in October. Reporting downtown, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.